Hi everyone and welcome to my page. My name is Betty with Betty's Custom Designs. Uh, as you can see, I do a lot of embroidery um, and, and sewing, as you can probably tell from my, some of my thread. This is just a little bit of it. But what I'm actually here today for is junk journaling. Um, I had never heard of junk journal um, until about a year ago and my world changed. I absolutely love junk journaling. Um, it's literally where you take junk and you make something wonderful out of it. Uh, I use a lot of the old um, junk mail that comes in. I re repurpose the envelopes and, you know, you get a lot of the stuff with the heavy card stock, you know, advertising the TV companies. And I love, love to repurpose it and put it into something that's actually useful. Um, this here is my personal junk journal. And as you can see, it has five signatures and I've done the saddle stitching to get those sig uh, signatures sewn in. Um, mine tends to be an alligator mouth. I cannot help it, kind of like my mouth. Um, but it's just so much fun as you start creating and you put all the tucks in. It's just so much fun and I cannot help it. And I'd even chose a larger book, um, book cover to make my junk journal with, but you know, what can I say? Um, it started off a little thinner than this. Um, but today we are actually going to be making this junk journal. Uh, this is a book that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Uh, and I took the, uh, I gutted the book. And of course, junk journaling, you don't throw the book away. Um, I have used the book, uh, the book pages for other stuff. And so what I have in here, this one has two signatures, as you can um, probably see. There's two signatures. I done the stitch, to, uh, stitch together stitching on this one. Um, and each signature has 10 pages. And some of them are coffee dyed and some of them I have done the distress ink with like a dolly. Um, but what I have in here is some of the regular um, coffee dyed paper, the distressed pink. Um, this is like the old school, um, maybe you can see it, the writing paper that um, I know that I had whenever I was in elementary school. Um, I've got, a, you know, some um, journal type uh, paper in here. So it's just all sorts of fun stuff that I have in here. Um, and then you can, you add your tags, you know, different tags. Uh, these are just a couple that I'm working on right now that will um, end up in the journal at some point when I get them to completion where I like them. And uh, one of the things with the junk journals is, um, I know for me, whenever I start out, I kind of have an idea of what I want the junk journal to be and what I want the junk journal to look like. But as I get in there and I start working, um, it kind of just takes a mind of its own and it goes into something totally different. Um, I just completed a junk journal yesterday and sent it off um, for my second daughter. Um, her birthday is Friday and she lives out of town and it started off just being a junk journal and I had actually taken um, the cover of hers was these collage pages because you know, as a junk journalist, we don't throw anything away. Um, so when we get our scraps, after we cut some of the cardstock or paper, I just simply um, mod podge it onto um, another paper or cardstock or junk mail. Um, that's it's great to put um, this on. And then this is what I actually made her cover from was um, a piece of this. And so when I had done it. Um, there wasn't a, really a lot of, um, you know, per se design to it. So I done the uh, paper napkins where um, I had some really pretty um, napkins that had butterflies on them. And so I put a couple of the butterfly napkin uh, pieces on the uh, cover of her book. So as I was doing it, it kind of was like a butterfly theme. I'm like, okay, you know, it's gonna be a butterfly theme. That's, I, I like that. Um, so, as I was doing it, um, the butterflies kind of reminded me of, of her. Uh, she is uh, divorced, but she adopted a child um, a little less than a year ago after he had been in foster care with her for a while. 
and she still continues to foster um, children. In fact, she's got a little girl in her home right now that, oh, I pray she can adopt. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, so as I was doing the junk journal and I was looking at um, all of the butterfly stuff that I was putting in there, it just really reminded me of the children that come in her home that, you know, they, they may not, um, when they come in her home, they were kind of like the, the caterpillar before they bloomed. And um, my daughter would, you know, nourish the children and take care of them. And then they would just blossom into these beautiful, beautiful children that, you know, had such great purpose in life. And so as I was doing um, the butterfly theme in her junk journal, it just it kind of naturally took a mind of its own and just immediately I, I thought, you know what, this is going to be an adoption foster junk journal. And so I incorporated a lot of um, the different little sayings and quotes um, with uh, fostering and adoption in there and, um, you know, different little sayings like I didn't grow in mama's stomach, I grew in mama's um, heart. Um, you know, never said it would be easy, but absolutely worth it. And so that was, you know, that's what I mean when I say that sometimes they just take a mind of their own and you just really don't know how it's going to end up. And that's the beauty of a junk journal. Um, there's, there's no, there's no rules. There's no right or wrong. Um, it's just however you're feeling that day and just kind of what you feel. Um, if you feel like you want to just, you know, make it. I've done one that um, I was making it for a friend. Um, actually, she's my boss, um, but she is a very good friend of mine. And so um, she and I, we talk all the time and I know that she likes to journal. And um, so I made one for her and I started out making it one way and as I got into it I got to thinking I was like you know what this will be a great way to encourage her um, because she has some difficult times and so it ended up being an encouragement journal to where like in the tux I would hide you know little scripture verses or um some very encouraging, uplifting quotes, you know, just something so that there was always something new as she was looking through it and trying to discover all of the different things. And so it's really, it, it, it's really, really fun, <clears throat> excuse me, when you can do something like that and just kind of make it, it, it ends up being tailored to, and there's no two junk journals that are the same. Um, it, you know, whether it be the paper that I put in it or um, the tags that I put in it or the flips and fold outs. It's just, there's always something different that I am with every journal, no matter, no matter how they, they may start out looking almost identical, but you know, it just kind of goes with how I'm feeling that day. Um, and you know that's all that's what it's all about there really is no rules in junk journaling um, there's nothing that says you have to do it this way and it's not a junk journal if you don't there's nothing like that um, it's all personal preference just like this what I'm doing right now I'm just um, inking the edges of my pages I've already coffee dyed them or done um, the, the, the distress oxide um, on them with like, you know, the lace dollies or whatever, but I, I like for the um, corners of my pages, I, I like for them to be inked. And again, that's something that is just, it's personal preference. You don't have to ink yours. I have seen some that have absolutely no ink on them and they are gorgeous. But for me, when I'm making a journal, I just, I tend to like um, having my pages inked. And for whatever reason, I always, I always kind of migrate back to vintage photo. I have a ton of colors over here. Um, I've got some blues. I've got um, I've got black. 
and I've seen that done in some that looked really good, but I've just never done it. Um, I have a green, I have red, you know, I have all sorts of different colors, but I find I always reach for the uh, vintage photo color. Um, not sure why, you know, again, it's just personal preference. Um, I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I did do a page the other day that I done it with a pink and then I looked at it and I'm like, huh, that's just, and I love pink. I love pink. Um, but I looked at it and I'm like, that's just too much pink. And so I had to knock it down some with some vintage photo and I'm like, you know what? Everything is going to end up at some, some way, somehow I'm going to end up putting a vintage photo on it. I just, I can't help it. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to, and I'll just get a few pages done, maybe just do the first signature so that um, we can go ahead and get started working on some of these to figure out what I'm gonna do with the pages. Um, I have a couple of ideas. I think I'm gonna fold some pages and make them into um, pockets with maybe some tucks in there. Um, I'm going to put some flip outs and some fold outs and you know, that, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do now, whether it ends up being like that or not, I, you know, I don't know. That's just, that's my thought process right now. Um, and like I said, there's no right or wrong. Um, you just do what you, how you feel that day. That's the one, that's the joy of the crafting with this is it's so much fun and you can just, you know, if you're having a bad day, I know for me, it, I can be having a pretty rough day, and which I, I rarely have rough days. I'm very blessed. Um, but if I do have one of those days where I just don't feel like myself, I just come in here and I sit down and just, you know, the feeling of the paper in my and listen at that. I love the sound of coffee dyed paper. I that's one of the things that I love. I just, it sounds so good to me. And so that's what I'll do. I'll just kind of come in here and sit down. And when I do, it just kind of brings me, you know, makes me happy. This is my little happy place is in here crafting and just kind of all to myself. I have a TV in my craft room here. I have a nice one, but you know, I just, I don't turn it on when I'm in here. Um, if my husband comes into the craft room with me, he'll turn it on and, you know, it doesn't bother me. The TV doesn't bother me being on, but I just, you know, I'm not gonna waste the electricity if I'm not even gonna be paying attention to it. And this is what I enjoy doing is just crafting. Um, and I love being able to, and I've honestly, I've probably given away more of these than I've actually sold. But, you know, that's just who I am. Um, but I'm the same way with my, I know my Etsy's, I have an Etsy shop and I sell um, t-shirts and masks and uh, blankets and lunch totes and, you know, it's all embroidered and I still, I, you know, I, I have great customers, great, great customers. And I think maybe that's my thing is that I'm very appreciative of the fact that because Betty's custom designs would not be what it is without the customers that I have. And that, and I don't ever want to lose sight of that fact. And so um, I always try to maybe put a little something extra into the package. Um, just like I had a lady who was never a customer of mine before, uh, she messaged me yesterday afternoon and she said, hey, is there any way you can get that um, farm embroidery t-shirt done um, and to me before September the 10th for my um, son's birthday? And I'm like, oh, cause it, that one is, that one takes a lot to make. Um, it is one solid hour of just stitching, but it's way longer than that because it has 38 different needle change outs. Um, you know, but I recognize the time that we're in right now and you know, kids' birthdays are not 
the way they used to be where, you know, they could have the parties and stuff. And so I'm a sucker when it comes to kids. I have none of my own. Um, and so I said, sure, I can do that. And so I had to go and purchase the shirt at a different place than I normally do. Um, and I got it home last night and, and I got it done. I, I finished it about 1.30 this morning. I'm just not happy with the quality of the shirt. And I, you know, and that's what matters um, to me. And so I went today to my normal supplier and purchased another shirt um, and I'm gonna do that one tonight and I'm just gonna send her both of them you know um, because I'm just you know that's the thing that it has to pass my quality inspection and it didn't and you know so the little kid he'll get two shirts you know one he can wear out in the yard and play and get it all dirty and you know no big deal and then the other one you know he can save for photos or whatever that, you know, looks good, but I just didn't feel right um, sending her the one shirt because I just wasn't happy with it. Um, I think I've inked enough pages so that I can go ahead and show you um, what I'm going to be doing in this today. Now, when I first put um, uh, these pages in the front and back of the, um, the book, I just let them hang over just a little bit because I I wanted, I wanted them flush, but what I done is I just let them hang over just a little bit, and then I just took my sanding block and was just able to sand it right on down. And in doing that, it got it flush, and it just looks a little better to me. Now, I do want to, um, one thing I do want to do, again, remember I told you that I love inking. Um, I want to go ahead and ink this, um, the inside, the front and back covers. Um, just like I said, you know, I just like the way it looks when it's inked. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that so that I don't forget it's harder once you get stuff on the pages to get it all inked up the way you want it. So I just like to hit it a little bit with that. You know, just knock some of the bright color down. Um, I tend to like more vintage type stuff. And so when it's inked, it looks a little more um, vintage -y to me. And that's what I really enjoy. I, I love all of the old, old uh, Victorian style stuff. That is definitely my style. Um, in fact, uh, my husband and I, we just got married in January. Um, we've, we've been seeing each other for about three years, but we got married in January and he was a bachelor for 30 years and the house that we now live in together uh, belonged to his grandmother. And she had amazing taste. And I'll show you one day, but, the most beautiful Victorian looking chair that was in my craft room and it's in storage right this minute and he was like yeah I'm gonna get rid of that old ugly thing because it's like a a mauve color but it's a dark mahogany looking wood and I'm like oh no you're not you are not getting rid of that that's mine and so I have like a Tiffany lamp over in the corner it's just gorgeous um so <laughs> I'm trying to decide what I want to do first in here. I know that I want to put some tucks and pockets and um, I think one of the things I'm going to do is um, find a page that I want to do it. Whenever, um, what I'm about to do, um, I'm going to fold one page down and glue the other page to it. And so it's going to make a pocket and then it's going to make a tuck. So in this book, it's very simple to do because all of the pages are, they're uniform in size. Um, so this one's going to be very easy to do. Um, but like on my um, personal journal here, you see I had some pages that were different sizes. Um, and then I had, and this is what I'm gonna be doing. This will give you a good idea. I folded this over and so it made a pocket right here, but there's also a small tuck right here. And again, it's personal preference. If you wanna glue the whole thing down, you absolutely can. But, you know, in 
for me with a junk journal is if I if it can create a pocket, then we're going to create a pocket there. Um, now, how I got the um, the size um, to be able to get my pages um, this perfect little size is I measured um, right from here to here. There's a, a you know there's a paper that's already in the book, and I was trying to see if I had another book right here at me that I could show you. Well, I have this. I can show you. And it's not even a good example. But what I've done was inside that little book is I measured from here to here, which was four and a half inches. And so I just multiplied, so it's nine inches. So a nine inch paper folded in half would give me that four and a half inches. And then I measured it from the top to the bottom and it was seven inches. So this book is, um, the pages are four and a half inches by seven inches. And so that's how you, it's an easy way to get your measurements so that you're not guessing or trying um, to figure out what you want your measurements to be. Um, now I'm just kind of looking trying to see what pages I want to use to make that cute little tuck. And I just love all of the pages. Yeah, you know, I may do this one. It's the middle of the signature, but I think it'll be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and fold this one down. And make sure everything lines up so that you don't have any pages sticking out. Um, if I can find my bone folder. Um, that way you don't have any little tails sticking out at the top or bottom. And so I'm just going to take my bone folder and just go over it a little bit there. And then now I'm going to take my um, glue and this is a wet white glue. Um, it's not really ideal to use it very heavily, but this is just one that I have found that um, it glues very well. The stuff stays and it's a very smooth flowing glue. Um, so I'm just going to make sure my tip is on there good. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to glue the small flap down. So I'm just going to put a strip on either side of this small flap just so that it'll glue down. And then I'm going to just get it there and hold it until it catches for a minute. And so um, this is actually going to make a pocket and a tuck the way that I'm doing it because I did not glue right here in the center. I just done a strip here and a strip here. So now the next step is I need to take and put a strip of glue on the underside of what that little tuck that I just made. And just one strip is really all you need. And now I'm going to stand the pages up just to make sure that they fit together really good. And I'm gonna squeeze the pages together, just like that. And again, I'm just pressing to make sure that it gets, um, it catches. And this is a pretty quick catching glue. Um, I've been very pleased with it. Just trying to put my needle back at the top so that it'll stay free flowing. Um, if you don't do this, you'll just have to clean your um, tip out, but that helps. So now, if you look, I have a pocket. Well, when I keep it stuck together and I'm not pulling on it like I just did, but I will have a pocket and I will have a tuck. And so now the thing is, is trying to decide how do we want to decorate this? And I am not sure. Um, I have some flowers. I have all sorts of little um, doodads. I have some lace. Um, I have some ribbon that I didn't bring to my desk with me, but I do have some, um, real cute ribbon, which I think I'm going to end up doing the ribbon. So I may pause you guys for a minute and get that ribbon and come back because I think the ribbon, I don't know, let me just look and see how the lace will look. See, again, it's one of those things where I'm thinking one way and then, you know, it may be something completely different. Um, that's 
like I said, that's the joy of the journaling is you just really never know. Ooh, actually, this is what I want. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, um, but I'm gonna knock that color down a little bit. I really don't want that um, bright white. Um, so I'm just gonna trim the lace a little bit. And how I'm gonna knock that color down is I'm just gonna lay it down there and I'm just gonna brush over it with my brush that I just got done inking the um, pages in. And it just kind of knocks the, the brightness of that light down. Now you can buy lace that is already um, tea dyed or coffee dyed. Um, but the thing is, you can get the white lace so much cheaper than you can the ivory lace. And it's easy to make it into you know, something this color. Um, so now I'm just gonna try and run a thin bead of glue on that top strip of the lace because I really don't want it to get down into the mesh of the lace. So I want you to be able to still see how pretty that is. Oh. See, that was another one of them times where I thought I wanted the like burlap top ribbon, but oh my God, this just looks so good. And then I'm just gonna put it on there. I'm gonna hold it firmly for a little bit to make sure that it catches. There we go, look at that. Look how pretty that is. That is looking good. And see, it, that's another one of them times, like I said, it's that was not the idea that I had going into it. Um, I thought I wanted something different. Ugh, I really like that lace. I really do. Let me put a little bit more glue right here. It don't seem that I glued it very well. I'm just gonna put a piece there because I want it to stay really good um, once I get done with my journal. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in any. No, I can't. I don't think. No, I don't guess I can. Okay, so we got that little piece done. Now, what else do we want to put there? Hmm. I love that little piece of lace. We got some flowers here. Hobby Lobby had them on sale for $1.24 a piece today. Look at that. Oh. I wonder if that would make it too thick. I just love those. Got some that have rhinestones in them. These, I just love these. Oh, oh these are pretty too. Yeah, see, oh, I'm probably I need to go with one that are a little more flat, so that I don't have a huge um, alligator mouth um, journal. Oh my goodness, I'm really liking that lace. I'm probably gonna have to put a piece on the edge of one of the pages too because I just really love it. Um, I'm looking to see if any of these embellishments. You know, I have some keys, I have some brads here. Um, I'm probably gonna use those on one of the envelopes that I do to have like the little block, um, the ribbon that wraps around. What else do I have? This is all kinds of little sewing um, trinkets. Same, I just have too much stuff. And I don't know what I want to use. Uh, I think for the sake of it being in a small area, I really don't want to have it too, too wide now. I think I'm gonna put a couple of these cute little flowers. I'm just gonna cluster them around, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Again, I really don't know. I may put it on there and I may not like them once I get them on there, but we're gonna try it. Maybe just like right there. You know, just give it a little bit of personality. You know, I like to wear my makeup and jewelry so that I have a little bit of personality. So that's what we're doing to this old book. We're giving it some makeup and jewelry and giving it some personality. Let me put that one right there. 
you know what, I think I'm going to get a different color one because I was going to go beside the blue one, but I think I actually want to go under the blue, kind of in between the um, two there. So I'm going to get this pink one, just so that it, you know, breaks the color up. Give it a little bit of a different look. And this is a different style flower. And I'm just going to set set it right there. What do you think, guys? How do you like that? Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And it's just something so simple, but it just, it made the look of that page so much different. Let me close my glue here, and it's already sticking. Um, the other thing I want to do while I'm right here, and I think it's um, glued down good enough now, I just kind of want to, um, ink the edge of this fold a little bit just so that you know where that um, fold edge is, you know, like where the um, pocket will look. That was not good. That's what happens when you start doing stuff like this and you're getting up too far ahead of the game, which I'm good about doing. But see, I just wanted to kind of um, break it up to where you can kind of see where that edge of that pocket begins. Um, that's about all I'm going to do for now um, because my video only, will only go for like 30 minutes or so, but, and I'm already at that. Um, it was just so much fun working with all of you guys. So um, if you have enjoyed this or if you want to see more of my junk journaling, please um, subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my channel, um, like the video, and if you have any questions or comments or anything else that you would like to see me do, please feel free to message me, leave comments below, and I will definitely see what I can do. And thank you so much for watching my um, video today. And I'll continue working on this some. And, you know, before I start back up, I'll show you um, a good clip of, you know, a little video. And I think when I get done with this, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of my personal journal. Um, so be looking for that. There will be a flip through coming up in just a little bit. But thank you again so much for um, watching today. Have a wonderful evening.